Today I'm going to show you how to set up a private and a public key for secure shell, otherwise known as SSH. This is the protocol that we recommend most of our users enable, and you'll be happy to know that some of the more prominent hosts out there enable it. So for right now, I will show you how to set it up locally, and then I will show you how to set it up with one of the, uh, with a host. So let me open up my sandbox. So here I have a uh, Xubuntu installation using uh, VMware. I'm going to open up my terminal environment. And I'm simply going to check one thing first, which is my host name. And that's what the box name is. So now I want to switch over to a root user. Now you can see that I'm at root on Ubuntu. What I want to do is change that host name to something a little bit that I would recognize. And you don't have to do this, this is just my recommendation. And you can see now that the name is Perezbox Sandbox 1. So let's go ahead and uh, clear this. Let's go ahead and close our terminal. And now you can see that it's Perezbox at Perezbox Sandbox 1. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to just run a really simple script. It's really easy to set it up and this will set everything up for you. So you can say SSH key gen. So SSH generate a key. Use the T option, and you can do DSA, or you can do RSA. For me, I'm just going to do DSA. There's a lot of different schools of thought on which uh, encryption algorithm you should use. Uh, for our purposes, this will do the trick. I'm not going to get into anything crazy. You're going to see here is enter the file in which you want to save the key. By default, the ID DSA is going to be the default file. So just you can just hit enter. Enter the passphrase. And this is important because this is what's going to allow you to utilize this key. I'm going to enter it again. Hopefully it matches. And then it's going to give you a, um, a random port image that represents your key. So now, the way you can check this is you can say list, list all, go to your home. So that, that little asterisk there is going to represent go to your home directory. It's going to show you everything I have in here. Let's see what we got. And you should, what you're looking for is this directory right here. You can see that it was created today, March 28th. So now let's take a look and see what's inside there. And you can see that I have an ID underscore DSA and an ID underscore DSA dot pub and then our known hosts. If you open up any of those, so you can say cat. So cat is going to open the file. This is now my new public key. And you can see here this is Perezbox Sandbox 1. Um, and with this, you can now set up your public and private key relationship. You can set up your public key, public key and your authorized fee, um, key file on your server. And then that will allow you to authenticate without having to set up passwords. Um, I hope this was an informative. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. And just like that, you've, you've enabled your, uh, your keys. Okay, thank you very much.